entrevista con Kian Vesteison, investigador de tecnología y democracia de Freedom House. ¿Qué tan lejos o cerca está Nicaragua de alcanzar el nivel de censura y persecución de China o Irán? Ortega regime's crackdown has extended into the digital sphere. Digital repression in Nicaragua is now extreme. Uh, particularly since the 2018 mass anti-government protests, authorities have sought to shatter the country's civil society and independent media. ¿Qué ocurre en Venezuela? In a context like Venezuela, where people can be arrested simply for criticizing the government online, um, or see uh, online independent news outlets shuttered for their reporting, it's also very difficult to obtain information that counters the government's views. So there's a simple reality that in an environment like Venezuela, um, even someone who might wish to find independent information may not be able to. And meanwhile, they're facing pressure to self-censor, uh, to hide their own views out of fear of experiencing real repression for sharing it online. So in an environment like this, it's very hard to understand the extent to which uh, government disinformation is shaping people's views. ¿Qué opciones existen para los periodistas y líderes que luchan por las libertades? We expect governments and the manipulation networks that they employ to increase their reliance on AI tools that generate text, audio, or imagery. In this context, AI will serve as an intensifier uh, in environments that are already vulnerable to manipulation. So let me say that um, we already have examples for the past year of how digital activism and civil society advocacy has driven real-world impact when it comes to protecting human rights online. Point of optimism for me when I look into, at our research on um, Venezuela and Nicaragua is that independent media outlets based in the region, um, media outlets operating from exile, continue to do the critical work of holding the government to account. Oh, my God.